on this video we're going to take a quick look at making a voltage divider that is light dependent and we're going to do that by using light dependent resistors and it's going to be the same light dependent resistor in all of these I think these are the ones that I got from random kits so I think it's the same one there's a different I got a different uh, light dependent resistor kit that has different value ones but I think this is the one that you're most likely to have so in any case main uh, principle is that uh, if it's dark enough, so that's when the resistor, light dependent resistor is on the high side, then we have a pretty good connection to ground right there. You have pretty much zero volts. It's like the other resistor doesn't exist, the light dependent resistor. As light falls on it, its resistance starts going down and uh, it starts making a better uh, connection there. So in this case with the 1000 ohm uh, resistor down there, very, very bright light will make pretty much a direct connection and you'll have five volts. Now, on the low side, you have the opposite. No light at all, you have five volts, making it through the 1,000 ohm resistor. It's like the light dependent resistor doesn't exist. Some light falling on it, it starts lowering that voltage, dropping that five down, and a very, very bright light will be like a direct connection. You'll have like zero volts. So, I keep saying very, very bright because when you only have 1,000 ohms of resistance on the uh, other side of the divider, than the light dependent resistor, it takes a lot of light to drop below, especially well below uh, 1000 ohms. So we can just up the resistance of the fixed value resistor. And then the uh, resistor doesn't need as much light to make a pretty much direct connection to the other supply in relationship to the fixed value resistor. So I find with this light level, uh, 47,000 ohms is a somewhat common uh, value you most likely have it than other ones close to this. So that's the value I used. But we will see with this light level, we can get to the uh, supply voltage pretty nicely. So now when you're trying to understand changing voltages, it's best to take measurements uh, with an oscilloscope. So I got a cheap pocket oscilloscope here and the cable comes out to these alligator clips. We got the black alligator clip uh, clip to this jumper. It's going to the negative supply. That's the lowest voltage in this circuit. And uh, we got uh, zero volts down there uh, at the bottom. That's what that arrow indicates. So the voltage that's going to show up as on the screen is based on the alligator clip here. So that's stray signals from my body there. I can actually produce more positive and negative voltages than zero volts, but the negatives are uh, dropping down. But in any case, we can go to the negative supply. It's the same voltage. You can see we have a steady zero volts down there. We have the power supply set to five volts. And each square here is one volt. It goes up five squares for five volts. Also make sure with this particular pocket oscilloscope that the green bar is all the way to the right. If it's in the middle, it takes a while to scroll before it shows up on the screen. What you see on the green bar is what we can see on the screen right there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom in a little bit right there and we're gonna go to where the uh, light dependent resistor is on the high side. So first off, let's lower the light a little and get it dark. So you can see it's dark there. The uh, voltage goes uh, way down. We turn the light on and it goes up. We make the light brighter and it keeps going up. For this uh, 1000 ohm resistor for the fixed value, we have to get it very bright to get it close to five volts, as you can see there. I'm trying to not uh, wash it out there. So as you can see, if we wanna get up to five volts, this is not a good value uh, fixed resistor to use, but uh, you can definitely see brighter light got us closer to five volts. Now we will compare that with the light dependent resistor on the low side right there. So uh, let's start off where it's dark. So now it's dark, it's five volts instead of the zero volts when the light dependent resistor was on the other side. And we started increasing light now, since the light dependent resistor is on the low side, the brighter it gets, the voltage goes down instead of up right there. So depending on which way you want the voltage to go, depends on which side you put the light dependent resistor. And now what we're gonna do is compare the uh, different resistor value. So this is 1000 ohm resistor and we're gonna swap it out for a 47,000 ohm resistor. And there you can see, same light level there. Now, this is the brightest setting for this lamp. We are pretty close to zero volts right there. And uh, so we turn this off 
and you can see that uh, the voltage went up because we made it darker and uh, the light dependent resistor is on the low side. Now I have a uh, cover over the light dependent resistor. We got close to 5 volts. If I turn the lamp on enough, light's getting through my finger to uh, lower the voltage there. So we're getting more light on there. The voltage is going down as you can see there. And of course we have the opposite when the light dependent resistor is on the high side right there. So we can't get it to uh, anywhere close to 5 volts with the 1000 ohm resistor but we grab a 4700 ohm resistor and I'm doing this one second because as you can see it blocked uh, the view a little bit more but there you can see that light level we have uh, no problem. Let's uh, dim dim the lamp doesn't change near enough so now we got to do a cover to get uh, to the other voltage but there you can see we got to get very dark to to get to zero volts right there and uh, we get it brighter and uh, voltage goes up so again the fixed value resistor makes a big difference uh, what the voltage is so you got to uh, kind of alternate not only light levels falling on the light dependent resistor but the fixed value resistor part of the voltage divider as well and any load will also change the uh, voltage so you want just something that looks at that voltage you don't want it to draw any current at all if possible because uh, the more current has provides to a load uh, especially the weaker it is as a voltage divider the more it's going to throw off that voltage towards the voltage that the load is going to which is usually uh, ground so usually it pulls down the voltage as it needs more current so in any case hope that all makes sense uh, generally you should turn off switch it down there any uh, measuring equipment you use and everything else when you're done so I'm gonna do that now thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video